Hey everybody, it's Shannon. And Angie, how are you guys? Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> Ooh, welcome back. Yay. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Yes. Thank you for submitting your questions. This one came from an Arab woman living in the United States, okay? Oh, okay. She wanted to know about women from conservative or traditional backgrounds, um, like how to date. Oh. Like dating American guys. Oh, okay. Which I thought was an interesting question. You know, mm -hmm. somebody coming from maybe the Middle East where, you know, the families are very traditional or... Conservative. Yeah. Yeah. So she doesn't cover her hair here, oh. but um, she's had, like, guys have asked her out on dates and things, and she's kind of, like, uncertain about how to navigate the whole conversations about, like, hey, I don't believe in, you know, sex till marriage and right. things like that. Right. So, I mean, you and I were raised Mormon, so I thought maybe we could give some insight. This is kind of a tricky one a little bit because <laughs> it's almost like if you really believe in your culture, you know, you kind of want to stay within that that culture. Yeah, well, I mean, there are apps like like Muzmatch, I think, like for Muslims. Oh, there so, are. So, um, yeah, there are apps if you want to meet like a Muslim guy. Just tell me on the first date or whatever, just be like, um, yeah, you know, t you know, when you're telling him about yourself, you know, you're yes. from a conservative family and just tell him that you kind of you have these beliefs and just like he understands right yeah, you right. don't want him to feel rejected like it's because of your religion not because of him right right so just be like oh i don't really feel comfortable maybe going to your place at this time um because of my religious beliefs and he'll be like right. well, what do you mean i'll be like oh well, i don't really believe in sex to marriage or you can tell right. him things like that and yeah. and so they see leo agrees with me and he's a male <laughs> <laughs> leo's like what yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that way they know what to expect, you know what I mean? So it just really, really depends, like, I grew up, we grew up Mormon, yeah. and I didn't want to stay in that um, religion, you know, and I didn't marry somebody that was Mormon, I sought out, because I was like, that's all I've known my whole life, let me see what these other people are about, and sometimes it's freedom, and it's, you know, it's stuff that you experience, so it really depends on what it, you know, you as an individual is looking for. If you love your religion, then yeah. be within that, and, and, you know, make sure that, you try to date with somebody that has similarities and that does believe in whatever religion you believe in. Well, let's talk about dating as a Mormon. I mean, there was this little pamphlet they gave us called like <laughs> the youth, the, or what is it, like the strength of youth or something? Yes. And it talked about how dating, you shouldn't date till you're 16. Yeah. And like when you're 14, you can do like group dates, but I never did that. And when I was 16, yes. I didn't date just because, you know, I had 14 siblings. I didn't want to bring anybody to my house. I didn't want to like, I kind of was in a weird phase back then, so right. I didn't even want to date until I was in college. Right, right. Um, but that said, yeah, as a Mormon, you're supposed to only date, I guess, one-on-one -on -one when you're 16. Yes. And then... And they have to be Mormon. Well, they would like for them to be Mormon, so they have the same beliefs, you know? Right. And, and there's certain... There are some things that said in the pamphlet that I didn't even understand, like... Yeah. Like, no heavy petting. <laughs> What is that? No, like there's things like, like you're allowed like to kiss. Farm no, <laughs> no heavy petting. No, that's what it said. That's it's what crazy. it said in the pamphlet. It said like um, what's it said like uh, there's certain certain things. It's, it's weird. It's certain things. Because yeah, you're allowed to do. kiss, right? Yes. But you're not allowed to what's like necking. Lust. What? No, what? no. It was like necking and petting. I didn't know what that was. I know. Doesn't mean like kissing somebody on the neck. I don't even know. I don't. But know. like it's been so you're. Long. I'm surprised to remember. It's been so long. You get these pamphlets. Came into my like mind because I'm like, what's 14, petting? 15, I should Google what's something. what's heavy. Okay, what's petting? I don't even know. In a in a relationship, wait, what is petting, petting? for me is like petting my dog. See right here. That's what I thought. Petting but like you. in the Mormon, they said like no petting. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. Engage in sexually stimulating, caressing, and touching. Oh, jeez. Couple example: couples necking and pet. What does necking mean? <laughs> I don't even. Probably know. same thing. <laughs> like, I don't know if no I had good sexual engagement. Okay, uh, necking. Now, informal kissing, caressing, and other sexual activity between partners that does not involve stimulation of the genitals or sexual intercourse. Oh my God! Why don't they just put the definition on the pamphlet? Might as well. I know. Well, so like necking, necking. Yeah, like necking. And then we end up necking because we don't. They didn't give us a definition of necking. So okay. <laughs> or petting. So know? it's like basically. So necking is it's like making out, but like over the clothes right not sexually but. i don't even i don't even know but i just remember there was a pamphlet saying like what you're not like you're, you're not allowed to go past a certain point on a date right or and like there's a three second rule or something yeah like you can kiss for three seconds or i don't know was it three seconds or there was some sort of thing like like the mormon the church dances like you're supposed to be able to fit yeah. like a bible between you and the other and the dude and this is why my dear friends i decide to <laughs> date other other cultures and other religions because this is just too much. Yeah, exactly. But for you, I'm saying like, yeah, if you if you want to date American American guys, great. I mean, 
Yeah. yeah. And there are great American guys who are Muslim and who are Jewish and who are Christian exactly. and who are whatever. How do they have your own beliefs, depending on how strong, again, how, depending on how strong your beliefs are? Exactly. So th there were some guys who would have Jewish in their religion on the apps, okay? And I don't care for me if somebody's religious as long as they don't try to impose it on me. And that's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. I dated a Jewish guy, and I kid you not, speaking of first and worst dates or whatever, this wasn't a bad date, but, you know, we dated for about four months, and uh, he basically was one day out of nowhere, because they have, like, what's called a Shabbat dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah Friday, Every Shabbat. Friday, right? Oh, yeah, so great. Like, it's great Shabbat food. dinner at my mom's house. Yeah. Okay, cool. Or his parents' house. So I went to his Shabbat dinners, and then the very last dinner that I went to, um, he said, you know, the uh, yalla, you know, what yalla? He's like, yalla, which means hurry or what is it? Oh, yalla? they said yalla. Well, challah is yalla. the bread. Oh, he said yalla. This is yalla, yalla. Like, oh, like in Arabic. Go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he says, uh, you know, the... Um, Oh my God, totally, I forgot. What is it called? The, 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 um, the food, the Shabbat. Sh the guy, the actual, the, 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 the rabbi. The rabbi, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The, the rabbi. rabbi. Right. The rabbi, he says, you know, yalla, yalla. And I'm like, I'm hurrying. He says, by the way, you have to look very nice and very decent. And, oh. you know, um, you're going to meet the rabbi. And I said, oh, cool. So like a member of your church is going. That's so cool. I mean, again, I know nothing about, you know, the Jewish religion. And he says, yalla, yeah, my, my mom and dad want to talk to him and he wants to talk to you and, you know, we can get this going. Like, And I'm like, wait, wait, first what? of all, yes, we've only been dating for three months. I don't understand what you're asking me. He says, well, don't you see marriage and this and this? <gasps> and yeah, but okay, but not now. So, yes. So, he was having the freaking, what's his name? <laughs> the rabbi. <laughs> right? The so, rabbi. Yes. He was having the rabbi at the Shabbat dinner. To brainwash me into joining oh, their religion well, so that I can marry this man and I would have to learn Hebrew and take all these classes to be a Jew. And I'm like, okay, first of all, no, no. And wow. then we broke it off. Yeah, not, uh, we, I didn't go to the dinner, needless to say. He went by himself and we broke it off. I mean, I think it's so selfish that you wouldn't have this important discussion with me. Yeah. So that's where the culture, you know goes in it comes into play how important is it to you now if he is really into his jewish beliefs then he should be looking for a jewish woman exactly. or a woman who is does not mind you know uh becoming a jew exactly a million percent yes. and i think he could have just said to you hey i'm going to bring the rabbi Right. Like he could have just said to you, and then you could have been like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You know, no, you no, could have like, said Yala, something. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going. That's weird that he would kind of spring it on you like yes. that. Yes. Like for me, yes. I wouldn't mind meeting the rabbi, but just right. tell me in advance exactly. that he's going to be there exactly. and that he's going to try to convert me. So for me, when I see the guy who's Jewish in the app, then yeah. before we even meet in person, I'm like, hey, I try to remember to ask him, hey, like, uh, are you religious? Like, are you pretty religious? Yes. Because if they say, oh, I'm not religious, I don't care, then it's great. Okay, great. Yes. Um, but there are some who are like, yeah, I am pretty religious. And I'm like, okay, well, just so you know, I'm not Jewish. Right. Um, and I'm not Charlotte from Sex and the City. Right. You know? Right. Um, so they're like, okay. Then some guys have been like, oh, well, can you ask your mom? Maybe you're like 1 12th Jewish. Maybe you're like, you know, a percentage Jewish. You know, I hope, I wish for you all the best, but I'm, I'm not Jewish. Yeah, exactly. You know? Um, like, my ex-husband's American Jew, you know? He's okay. American Jewish, but he, that wasn't a problem. Yeah. We got married and everything like that. I didn't have to convert or anything. Now, my son, our son that we had out of that marriage, uh, is not Jewish because I'm not Jewish, but his father and the whole family was. Crazy. Did his parents try to get you to convert? Or? Not at all. They're very Americanized. It's interesting. crazy. I mean, because like, you can convert. Like, I could convert, you can convert to convert, it. Yeah. Like, apparently, you have to, like, ask three times. Or whatever, like yeah, you have to like do classes and yeah, you have to take Hebrew classes. You have mm -hmm. to do the whole thing. I mean, I've been to so many. But when I was married, I went to so many bat mitzvahs and all oh, of yeah? that stuff. And yeah, and the, the kids had to speak Hebrew, and it's like it's almost like Catholics when they do their first communion. It's kind of like that. Uh, okay. like they have to learn Hebrew and all that stuff to to become Jewish. You know. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So that's just one thing. I think like from the beginning, just kind of make it clear. Not not like. Just how important is it? Yeah. To you? That's all. First, yeah, figure that out for yourself. Yes. And then figure out what your boundaries are. Yeah. And then if you like the guy and he likes you, you have to talk about it. If you want somebody who's gonna like take things like in terms of like the physical aspects, they're gonna take it really slow. Yeah. You need to voice that at the beginning. And if he tries to manipulate you or yeah. convince you otherwise or whatever, he's not the guy for you. Right. If he respects your boundaries and yes. respects your standards, then then that's gonna say a lot about him. Um, but you don't want somebody who's going to be like, oh, look what I'm doing for you. Like, I'm, oh, you know, yeah. you don't want him to guilt you about it or if he, you know, anything like that, that's all red flag. 
all red flag, all red flag because territory. believe it or not, eventually that relationship's gonna end. It's like I have dated extensively and I've been in long-term relationships. So, you know, you guys are probably like, well, she's been married and divorced and all that, but it's been because I've been dating for a long time. So my thing is these past few years, I have ignored the red flags and I'm like, okay, well, people my age have these problems and the, no, if it's something that you don't like now that I know, Stop. Like the red flag, break it off. It's not you being picky, it's you not wasting your time. I've noticed that about myself too. I think being raised Mormon was part of it is that you know, you're the, supposed to be the nice girl, and I was saying yes too much when I really wanted to say yes. no. Yes. And I think I was giving guys, I was making excuses for guys when, chances. yeah, when it really wasn't a good fit. And right. I, and I, I should have just said no from the beginning or from the first time, be like, okay, wish you all the best, you know. And I've gotten a lot better at that. I've even said on a first date, I said to a guy, um, are you open to feedback? <laughs> if he's open to feedback, great, and see how he takes it. And, yeah. and if he says no, then okay, fine. Like, I don't want to waste anybody's time. Exactly. You know? And, and you don't want to waste yours either. I mean, right. if you're really seeking what you're looking for, you need to go after it, just like you would with a job, just like you would with anything, you know, losing weight. I have a friend, for example, who met a guy online and she was texting him, you know, and she's like, hey, I'm looking for marriage. I'm looking for this and I'm looking for that. And I'm like, you're never going to find somebody <laughs> like that because you're so upfront and honest. Uh -huh. It's too much. You haven't even met him in person. And sure enough, three years later, they're married. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, he was like, look, I'm looking for the same thing. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If you know what you want and you're fed up with your dating life that hasn't worked out, go for what you want and, and, and be assertive. Well, I mean, in my last relationship, and I, you know, I, I keep talking about this because that's what I can relate to. Because well, it's so fresh in your mind. It is. We broke up about a week ago. We were dating for two and a half years. And now that I look back, I'm like, my God, that's two and a half years of my 30s I don't have left, you know? But I mean, it's almost like he was wanting to go hiking and that's fun. And I love hiking. It's so I fun. But every single day, it just gets to being ridiculous. You know, I'm not a person oh. that goes hiking every single yeah, day. Yeah, I don't go every day. So, right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Hiking is supposed to be fun, you know? And it's like I dated him, and it's so exciting. You get caught up with, oh, this person lives a healthy lifestyle. But then it's almost like you also have to respect yourself. And I didn't do that. I tended, I tended to go with everything he wanted to, and we took a trip to Colorado, right? And I was like, this is going to be so much fun. Well, not when you're hiking every single day. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And it's like, wow, don't we get a minute to and, relax? And for the record, hiking is not the, not the only reason that they broke up. Like it's not just because oh he didn't he, he wanted to hike too much. No no, oh, no there's sorry. other stuff. Yeah 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 it yeah. Wasn't hiking. Yeah it was yeah, but there are other things. Bike yeah. Riding, which which <laughs> consists of going up that hill and pedal and pedal. It was never fun. You no, know, there was just a bunch of other factors. Right. True. That that are serious and that we're not going to talk about in this video. Yeah, that that was yeah that that um, were why. But right. But I mean, there's just certain things. I mean, yeah. If, if it's not what you want, then yes. Like, are you comfortable being alone? Go, yes. I, I, go to movies by yourself or like right. do you ever do that or go I've to dinner by yourself I've done that but I've I done that forward to doing really oh my I've gone to movies by myself I've traveled by myself you do travel I, I love that she so, travels by herself she's so hardcore for me oh, personally I grew up with 14 siblings so oh, I mean I'm happy alone like if I if I meet somebody and we're both happy together and we both want a kid then great That's plus, like yeah. but at the same time if I like, I don't have a cutoff like oh if I get to 40 and I don't like yeah I'll still be great and successful and whatever you will you will and, and I don't I'm not gonna like put that as like oh I'm like, only gonna be happy if I have right. a kid or then you're kind of stressed because you're like you have that oh that deadline yeah you yeah. know well, and so on a that's... date you can't really be yourself because you're kind of like focused yes. on you know can he fulfill that need exactly. and guys have done it to me too yeah. like yes. there was a dude yes. after about a month and a half of dating. <gasps> We hadn't, and this dude, we didn't really have great communication, okay, so that was a red flag. But, I mean, I was still seeing him, and, and so I said, um, I was like, uh, so what are you looking for exactly? You know, I kind of casually, and after a month and a half, I figured it was okay to ask. Right. And he, he like, picks up his dog, and he doesn't, look, he doesn't even look at me in the eyes, and he's like, marriage, he's like, uh, marriage and children. And, and I said, oh, okay. Um, and I'm thinking, dude, you don't know how to be in a relationship. Yeah. You're thinking about marriage and kids. You don't know how to even communicate. Like you, you're not even like, I, I don't even feel like. Looking at me. In the yeah, eye. it's like you can't even look me in the eye when you say what you want. That's the one who never defined the relationship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he thought we were in a relationship. I was still seeing other guys. It's like, dude, you should at least like have asked me to be in a relationship with you. You can't just right. assume anything. And I hate that when they can't communicate. Right. And you know? men need to know that as women. Oh my God, we have so many more uh, choices. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think some guys they just want to have this like image of oh I'm a player and whatever yeah. but then like dude like I think he was like what 41 42 yeah. and I mean whatever age is just a number but if you're saying you want marriage and kids you should at least 
try to act like you care about a relationship because if the relationship's not stable and it's not from a good foundation, yeah. then you're just setting yourself up for failure. That's very true. That's why there's a lot of divorces. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Yes. Keep us posted what's new with you. Keeping you improve yourselves and, uh, you know, oh. keep watching our channel. Stay healthy. <laughs> All right, Leo. <laughs> bye, guys. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.